Let's get it. Get it. Look at all these beautiful people. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. to all the beautiful people. Look at y'all. I need to give yourself a round of applause. Look at y'all. Beautiful people. I just wanted to say peace to everybody. I'm feeling a little great today. Just a little? Oh, so wonderful. Feeling just a little great. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Wow. Wow. Stay strong, you heard? And always remember what death truly is. You know what I'm saying? Just remember what that is. Just remember what that is. Stay strong. Word up. But I was uh I opened this up rather on the the looking rather on another note. I heard that uh somebody a god that we know was pregnant, and I just wanted to stop in that moment when they was strong. Let them know that their body's gonna go uh, through changes. You know what I'm saying? But never, never allow those changes to make them get beside themselves. To always stay uh, 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 present, and you know, just reach out if need be. I guess. So that's basically what what uh, inspired us to open this live real quick today. Death is just a new beginning. Yeah, especially if there is no such thing as time, you know. It's just another transition into something, a different form, a different... Death is transformation. Exactly, energy a different form of energy. Exist. It just goes from one form to the next. Energy cannot energy. cease to exist. It has always been, it always will be. Say it again. Energy cannot cease to exist. Energy cannot cease to exist. Uh -huh. It can only transform only transform from one form to the next form from one place to the next place from one person to the next person you know what I mean exist. so we must keep these things in mind peace peace God I saw you you was out there I see you you connected you was out there looking like so godly I am love bro I see you you out there looking like what you are like you know who you are it's beautiful to see that it's inspiring but yeah, I just wanted to say, right, like, we were out on the water today. Tired. We was on this trail. Boom, boom. And I learned a lesson in life, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a student of the life, so I don't pretend to know it all. I don't try to know it all. I wish to know it all, you know? I, I definitely seek to know it all, but I, I know enough to know that you will never know it all. I know enough to know that this that's a continuous journey. So I learned that the qualities within me that need to get stronger and some that need to uh, completely metamorphose, more metamorph into something better were really on the forefront today. We were out on the water having a beautiful time, you know? And it's it's like it's like the water is representative of like the life sometimes because in life the water can be ferocious it can flip you upside down i lost my beads yesterday i'm in the water the water don't care about your beads that shit gonna flip you and throw you and all that and i'm like wow these waves are aggressive so my god she was standing back she was like hold on dale el paso them shits ripped my beads off and all that. And then today the water was just so calm. But the sun was very intense. So it just shows you in life. Uh, uh, being that we were on a water vessel, we were kayaking. It taught us kind of like, you must always keep moving. You know what I mean? Because the further you get out away from where you started, the closer you are to your destination. We were just paddling and paddling and paddling and paddling, which felt like would never end. But at the end of the day, we reached our destination. Oh, what a sweet one it was. The point is that you will get to where you need to go 
on in, in your life, on your journey, if you continue to go, you must never stop and, 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 and I guess, mope. You must not be... Just so you know, there's a president there, right? You know is there? I mean? Yeah. Right there. In the plaza. That's what I'm talking about. Fresh, fresh fruits and veggies all day. But yeah, it's like... I learned that. You you must keep moving. I learned also uh, things about my leadership skills, my qualities in leadership in terms of giving direction. That I can definitely learn how to... How to translate information in a better way. Because I'm trying to give information about a certain route that we should be headed. We should be navigating the water in this direction, in this pace. But the way I'm, I, the way of communication was the issue, not the communication. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh. So I must learn how to alter the way my my words are coming across for someone to catch it that I want to catch it because if I do it just from if I just allow the words to flow from me the way they do naturally it might go over someone's head at times that is necessary it is whatever is called for shall be but in that moment it could be a life or death moment you never know if you have a stranded or some shit like that thank god that was not the case we were just out there having fun but I realized that as well like given given direction when you when you're if you're a leader when you give direction you must do it uh, uh, clearly punctually precisely without any uh, defects and if so if there's any any mistakes made in, 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 in what you're trying to convey to your squad or your team you must be able to make the proper adjustments to get back right and get to your final destination it kind of reminds me of like a military mindset like at the end of the day it's a chaotic zone it's a chaotic situation but you must still stay in the mental poise and get to where you need to go so i learned that you know but i have to learn to communicate better and also that it's hard for me to say no like because sometimes i might be I don't know. I might be overextending myself to someone when I should just be saying no. Like, no, if you do it this way, you'll get there instead of trying to just do it for you or something like that. But yeah, and just in life, like that water, it can be very ferocious one day and then very calm and quiet the next. So no matter how quiet and calm it is in your life or no matter how ferocious and relentless it may feel no matter what situation you may be in or going through just keep paddling because you'll get to where you need to go have faith you know trust in yourself uh, 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 rely on yourself know that you can handle anything that you are presented with as long as you stay level-headed as long as you don't panic as long as you uh, uh, go through it with honor with dignity and the, sometimes the craziest situation require the calmest response you know what i mean that's just who's this <laughs>